I've met some of the most talented and creative people down here in the Keys. Now, like Deborah, I just can't brag or say enough about these wonderful artists. Many of them are associated with the Florida Keys Council of the Arts. This is the leading arts and cultural organization in the world. They connect audiences from around the world to galleries, theaters, music, dance, festival, and more, all the way from Key Largo to Key West. Liz, thank you for being back on the it's show this my morning. It's pleasure. <laughs> well, it's great having you here. Always great hearing about the Council of the Arts. What do you have going on right now? Well, in addition to our regular programming, as you just mentioned, connecting audiences with our calendar and our brochures, we are right now uh, reaching out to an audience that we touched last Veterans Day. Uh, it comes up in November, so we are looking for veterans and all of our currently serving military personnel in Monroe County, which is obviously pretty plentiful, to bring uh, artwork to be curated into a show, which is part of our Art and Public Buildings program. Okay. So we're going to have a big exhibit called A Salute to the Arts mm -hmm. too, because it's mm -hmm. our second year in the beautiful Gatto building on Symington Street. Oh, this sounds like this is going to be a good event then. I think it will be, and mm -hmm. we'll have an opening reception right during that Veterans Day weekend. And the application is su super simple. It's one page, just name and address and rank and maybe the years that they've served in the mm -hmm. military. And I have two terrific board members that will help me curate the show. Wonderful. And we'll be putting up your website here in just a few minutes Good, so our thank viewers you. know. And the application's right there, okay. right on the home page. Yes, Wonderful. Keys Arts. And now, Liz, we're going to be showing a video right now to our viewers. Tell us about this video that we're going to be seeing. Well, you know, it's interesting, if, as you and I have talked about, a lot of people don't really know what the Arts Council does, but of course we do quite a bit throughout the county to support and promote the destination as a rich cu cultural and historical venue for people to visit, but in doing so we have to support our artists and all of our museums and organizations. So we had this uh, very short video produced this summer to sort of give an overview of how wide and deep and long our history of art and culture has been. So you'll get a little bit of theater, a little bit of dance, a touch of music, um, some of the um, arts programming that we do in the schools. So a very short video just to kind of give everybody a little tiny taste mm -hmm. on the arts of the key. So we're very proud of it mm -hmm. and I'm going to use it uh, and my board members will use it to come uh, to different meetings um, to show off what we do. Wonderful. and how we support the arts. I know our viewers will enjoy it. So, Liz, thank you for being back on the show this morning. Anytime. And thanks for letting our viewers see this. I understand that they're the first, they're the first to see it, right? Yes, they are. <laughs> thank you for having me. All right. Enjoy this video, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in this morning. I'll be back again tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.